Hi, I'm Morali from Level 2 Support. Uh, this video uh, covers Netcore TSRM integration and in this particular um, training we're going to be uh, discussing how to view uh, created incidents uh, from Omnibus in TSRM. So what we're going to be describing is when we have events in Omnibus and we have uh, used the gateway to create incidents in TSRM. So I'm going to be showing you how to uh, view these in the uh, maximum application. Okay, so the first step is we're going to log in to the Maximo um, application. Uh, so we're going to log into TSRM. So we enter our username and our password. Now I'm just going to show you the gateway configuration file that we have here. As you can see, we have this property here, gateway gate.tsrm.url list. Now this corresponds to the page we're going to be logging into. Now in this particular example, I'm going to be referring to incidents. There is another um, way that events can be created that's con that's called service requests but everything we'll be doing in this tutorial will be based around incidents so let's go back to the GUI so we're in the Maximo system we sign in take a few seconds to load Okay, and we'll be presented with this um, screen. It may vary depending on your setup, but if we go to the left-hand part of the screen, we can see applications. We're interested in Service Desk, so we click Service Desk. We go down. As I said before, we're using Incidents. However, we can also use service requests, but we're going to be using incidents. And if we go to this section, um, I know in advance that I've got incidents with the number starting one zero. So if I do a one zero wildcard search. This will give me all the um, incidents which have been created. So as we can look from the summary, we can see some uh, synthetic SIMNET type events which have been converted into incidents. If I just open one of these up, so you can see it, double click. And we will see this. Now, just a couple of things we want to look at from here just to see things. Um, so obviously, reported priority. This corresponds to the severity in Omnibus. Summary comes from the summary event field in Omnibus. This external ID would probably be the serial of the event in Omnibus and this is the ticket number that it's going to be sending back. These are the statuses, so it's a new status. Now if you're doing bi-directional functionality you may want to change the status. So if you wanted to change the status of this event, you can go to this side of the screen. There's a, there's a button there called Change Status. And we've got these different states. Closed, in progress, pending, queued, resolved. So that's how you would change the status of those events. Just quickly look at our um, configuration files. We go to the tsrm.map file we will see the how the uh, 
if we look at the map, we can see um, reported priority, which is, as I said before, let's just is this part here. This is the severity of the ticket in Maximo. And if we look at the mapping here, you can see status, sorry, reported priority, look up severity. So we look up the severity table and four, an event of four in Omnibus will have an event of two in Maximo. If we look at status, it's going to go to the status table. Again, this status is referring to this field. Just have a look at a few more things in here. We can see the reported date, the creation date of when the ticket first comes into Maximo. Um, etc. So it's quite useful just to know how to look around here. We go back to applications. Go back to service desk incidents. Let's do a quick list again. And there we have our again all our incidents tickets that have been created from Omnibus Netcore. So this concludes this section. Um, there'll be some notes at the uh, end of the video. Please feel free to add any comments or anything um, you feel won't, won't covered in future videos. Thank you. Hi, I'm 